You know what really makes me happy? Legendary upgrades. So we're going to start with one. And I feel like that's a good omen for what's to come. I've had better follow-ups to that, but we can take increased critical chance. It might just be a straight up critical damage and chance day. <laughs> but it's like I always say, you can never have too much damage, ever. Increase your critical chance by 10%. So we've already got a 15% chance to critical hit, and that's a lot of damage. So we'll take a little bit more attack speed then. That gives us basically a 33% increase. Which means these stabby idiots aren't likely to do much stabbing for a little while. We're going to go ahead and increase our crit chance by 10%. I know crits can activate later and do other things too, so the higher the crit chance, the better. Already we're doing a 1 in 3 crit chance, which, well, speaks for itself. And next up, let's just take another 5% crit chance, I guess. 35 over 1 in 3, stupid blanket. They all thought they were going to have a relaxing Friday night. Then I show up and murder each and every one of them. I don't know how much I like the projectile bouncing. I do like critical chance a lot. We're just straight up going to do damage. Our arrows aren't going to bounce. They're not going to do anything fancy. They're just going to hurt things an awful lot. And that's what we're all here for anyways. Our first chest. Ooh. Your attack speed is three times faster when you're close to enemies, but three times slower when you're far. I'll take that difference. I mean, they get really close and my damage is going to be absurd. When they're far away, I don't care anyway. They're far away. Another 10%. 55% crit chance already. And when they get close, my attack speed goes bananas. So we're going to be able to push this really, really far. I guess at some point I should do 150% more crit damage. And now we're doing three and a half times damage on our crits, which is often. So we're very high, very early damage. We even killed him with a lucky crit and same thing. I guess since it's a purple, your crits do 150% more damage. So they're 500% crits. What we hit does five times damage. It'd be nice if we could just straight up break the game with damage. Uh, we're going to take an attack speed at this point because that's going to pair uh, with some of our other things really nicely. Like Hook Hands here, he's dead. And what is this? Every 30 shots, your next shot is slow, huge, doing three times damage and cannot be stopped. Yes, because we're going to do 30 shots often because we're our attack speed's already getting really high. Is that good for us or bad for us? That's got to be good for us, right? That doesn't hurt us. I just saw a big bomb and got excited, as I always do. I guess we're just going to take an extra 5% crit chance because none of the options there were great. We're already at 60%. There goes the bomb. Oh, it just left. Okay. It is Friday night that we've all got places to be. Except me. This is what I do with my time. Endlessly. Getting a lot more attack speed. Oh, the projectile doesn't actually blow up. He does just wander. He just goes through everything. It really makes a mess of them. So when everyone's all bunched up later, it's going to plow right on into them. It's going to be mega penetration for that big guy. And another level up. We're going to gain a lot more damage because that's going to stack with our crits. We're doing five times crits. So we went from 400 to 500 on crits. And I think I just had a shot go through me. Okay, that one, uh, I was scratching my leg. I have an excuse. I didn't realize there's a boss blanket sitting there. Watch how fast we kill him though, our damage is so high. Uh, there's a few here that I definitely like. I do want to shoot an orbiting projectile regularly. We can get 20 of those going uh, eventually. That's just going to help give us sort of an armor. And I think they can also crit. So that's also going to be super damaging. Critical chance, another 10%, 70% crits. I don't know if we're going to do any more crit chance. We might just do damage at this point. It gets a little redundant to keep going. 7 out of 10 are already crits, so... But we'll leave it up to the nature of the power-ups. Whatever we get, we'll roll with and we'll make it work. Well, none of these are a lot of fun, really. So we'll maybe just, um, I don't know, 5% more. 75% chance to crit. 3 out of 4 is a crit. And our attack speed is going to get absurd. It's already pretty quick. It's going to get worse. These idiots keep taking my rotating arrows, though. Crits still 100% more damage. Yes, yeah, 600% crits. So watch how fast we kill this guy. Dead. Okay, permanently gain 10% attack speed every 2 minutes. That's only going to give me 30% extra attack speed, but that's a big 30 extra attack speed. That's going to account for like 45 homicides a minute. And another level up already. Those are coming quicker and quicker. So we're just going to take more damage. 115. We're going to need base damage and crit damage at this point to stack. Critical chance is all the way there. We can spend the next like 1000 upgrades on damage damage all the way through. It's kind of lonely now though. Everything's dying too quickly. There's nothing left to shoot. Let's get them all to come in and bundle up. Even the little cactuses that want to roll through me. Oh, and there's gold coins on the ground now. That's going to help us get even stupidly stronger. Gray upgrades. I don't want gray upgrades. I guess damage isn't going to hurt though. That extra uh, 10 base damage means an extra 60 crit damage. And I don't know how much health the enemies have, but we're already hitting some of them for like 750, which is a lot. We hit that one for 2250 and we're nowhere near done the end of the game. Uh, we have attack speed. We have crit damage. We're probably going to take crit damage. Attack speed doesn't matter if we can't actually kill things later on. And I want to be doing like 10 million per hit, at least. The gold coins really are nice. I do like the coin system. Every time we get a new coin, it feels good to pick them up because it feels like I'm making progress again. Okay, Stabby Hands is here. He's dead. Whoops. I'm definitely being a little bit lazier than I should be. Permanently augments your damage by 20%. Yes. So now we're doing 150 base. So now our crits 
Whoa, our over a thousand. And uh, we're gonna gain a little bit more damage again. We're at 162 base damage, which means ridiculous damage. 1134 crits already. And the projectiles being slow doesn't really bother me that much. They're still going to where they're going and killing things. There's definitely a, a downside to that that I'm just too dumb to think about. But for now, blind confidence. Look at how slow the projectile is now. I could probably just keep it walking. I could probably honestly just get like eight of those going and walk them along like that. That could be fun. Yeah, come here, idiots. Walk through the big bullet. I'm going to take a little more health at this point. Three hits is not enough. My big bullet's leaving. Can I have another one? Where's my next big bullet? Yeah, I might try that at some point. I might just follow those around because those are going to hurt for big damage. Oh, here's a, a horse thing and it's dead and so is everything else in sight i wonder if i can reduce the cooldown of that too so make big bullet fire more often so i think my projectiles now bounce two more times i don't oh they do that does give them a bounce great so now they're going to bounce back and forth wasn't sure that was going to work we're going to take a little bit more damage just so we can keep up with those crits and the big bullets with the arrows bouncing back and forth and all around now it's really going to give me a lot more breathing room again things are going to get nowhere near me for the most part because it's just going to be a wave of damage all around me projectiles can still hurt me and that's always going to be my downfall because i'm stupid and lazy this one's tempting you get one more choice for each upgrade and object selection yeah i like getting that earlier on but i'll take it now because that's still going to probably rule out a few great choices moving forward. And it's all about choices. Yep, this is going well. It'd be nice to fire a big bullet that way. Can we get one of- There we go. That's going to go through everything. Whoops, that was like 3,000 damage, but I was watching the big bullet. I think we might need a little bit more attack speed again. We're doing well, and the closer things get to me, the more damage I do. Damage is fine. The, uh, maybe attack speed is what we're lacking, or penetration. Maybe we need more piercing. Or just to hold still like this. That was close. He missed. I was holding still and the projectile missed. Okay, so shots pierced through one more enemy. We just asked for it. We received it. So now they're going to bounce and then pierce. Which is good because they're just going to go that much further. They're killing more enemies than ever before. I kind of wonder what other new upgrades there are though. The big bullet's a fun one, but what else can we get? Can we get multiple big bullets? That would be something. I feel like it's been a while since we upgraded our damage or crit damage. What happened to those options? Well, here's a bunch of things that aren't super relevant. I'm going to maximum health too that's going to give us six for now which is pretty ample all the other upgrades there were gray anyway so they're boring i do like this one where you, the closer we are to enemies the faster we shoot because that gives them confidence as well as me probably gives me too much confidence because i assume if anything gets close they're gonna die which is obviously a very dangerous assumption okay crit still 100 more damage the extra piercing is tempting the straight up damage is good that way as soon as our arrow touches anything they're obliterated mm, we've got a lot of things to kill still whoops okay it's time for the first sheriff i'm going to be greeting grab a few things he's gonna show up any moment now there he is okay the closer he is the more faster we shoot he's already down like all his health okay this might be a record for me he's already dead that bodes well for our future the cactus rod here is tempting but i never really understand how it works plus we have an upgraded cooldown i'm actually not going to touch that we're going to get an emitted ore that slows things by 50 percent even though we haven't increased the size of anything but that's fine things that get close to me will get ored and super murdered with my super speed we're also finding red coins now so that feels good can i get everyone to just bunch up it's so annoying having to wander around and murder all you people crits deal 100 percent more damage with 900 percent crits 1500 damage damage which should definitely be enough to one shot everything so far uh a regular shot probably won't kill them at only 174 but we'll probably get that up there too and we got a nice wall of arrows going so it's hard for anything to get close to me oh here comes the mole yeah Yep, good. Right there. Smart. Okay, there's a few good ones here. There's appears what appears to be a lightsaber slaying younglings. But also we can triple our shot but permanently reduce our attack speed by 40%. This one's good too because when they do critical damage they pierce. I want both of those. We're going to take a triple shot. I know we're going to lose attack speed but we can get that back. And the closer things are the faster we fire anyway. And um, this will be okay. I also notice we're firing three big bullets now in multiple directions. So that's also a lot of fun. The piercing critical shot is interesting though. I don't feel like we're going to need it that much because our shots bounce around anyway. Maybe piercing becomes redundant. But I'm not sure. I'm just doing what I do in real life and just kind of trying to make up excuses for why I actually made the right decision. Okay, we're going to get 100% more crit damage. So we're doing 1000% crits for 1740. Mm, we do need more base damage. But aside from that early gold damage upgrade, they've all been pretty gray. And we're going to kill this big guy now. Okay, again, we're stuck with a few choices that I want. Every one meter deal 30% of your damage around you. I guess our damage comes from crits anyway. That's not exciting right now. Firmly raise your attack speed 30 percent half of your shots are less precise i don't need precision i'm firing three arrows plus a big bullet and i've never been a precision guy i've always just been about brute force what some might refer to as prey and spray uh, another level up look at all the blues we've got i think we'll probably just take another 100 percent crit damage so 1100 percent on our crits and those big bullets fire in all directions if i get three going in the same direction i might go on a little journey with them at some point but i also don't really want to leave our debris field 
it's become very close to my heart. I already like the looks of this. I don't know what it is, but I can tell I'm gonna like it. The first time a projectile hits, it spreads into three projectiles that do 35% of your damage. Yes. Does that include the big bullets? I have questions now. So we're having... Oh, they do! Oh, this is going to be fun. I could honestly just follow them for a long ways because these two are just about lined up. But I'll do that when we need to. For now, we're more than capable of killing these guys, especially with our splintering arrows. So we're firing, I guess, up to four arrows per shot and they all splinter. So it could be 12 arrows per shot, basically. 12 arrows at 1100% crit damage and they're almost all crits. This is going to be fun. Crits deal 150% more damage, 1250% crits. I wonder if we can get that over 2000. Not that we'll need to, but it would just be a lot of fun. And what's going on with my arrows surrounding me? Why are some of them going sideways? Are they splintered into small arrows? I have questions. I'm already breaking things. Kind of walked into an idiot, but that's because I am in fact an idiot. They say opposites attract, but not in the case here. Look at all the bullets going out though. This is so much fun. I need more splintering action. I need to fire arrows also behind me. Okay, when we don't get that, I'm going to do probably a little bit more damage. 170 to 186 that was still a pretty decent upgrade i think it's about five percent and i mean we're hitting things for 2500 damage so five percent is actually quite a chunk i love those bullets though i should just follow this way for a while but i really can't it's so tempting to do that but the faster we fire the more those big bullets uh we are gonna fire so pretty soon the screen might just be full of those. I really hope so. I think it's every 30 arrows. So that's obviously pretty often when we're firing this quick. We just need the idiots to stay in our face. Not too close, but you know, just enough to maybe smell their cologne. All right, not a ton of great stuff here. Crits an extra 100% though is fine by me. 1350% crits at a 75% chance of happening. Oh, it's already time for Sheriff Idiot. So we'll get right in his face with all this damage and <laughs> look at him go. And he's dead. That was actually a record for myself. Onwards to game breaking stuff, but also give me a gold upgrade for my duty. Okay, this one's kind of interesting. Your projectiles bounce off the edge of the screen. I mean, think about all these bullets bouncing off the edge of the screen. Well, we lose 30% attack speed, but we get attack speed when people are close to us. So now it's just going to be bouncing doom of all sorts of bullets that are also fracturing. We're literally filling the screen with arrows. We just need to fire one from behind. I wish I had uh, more ways to fire projectiles. Hopefully there's some new upgrades that can help me with that. Do the big guys bounce off the edge of the screen? He's going, go he does. Then the little ones do too. I don't really know what I've created, but I'm just going to let it go because so far it's wiping the entire screen very clean. The tech speed is a little slow, but everything there is like a nuclear bomb. Anything that gets touched is absolutely destroyed. I got hit by something that I assume is a projectile. It's getting a little bit hard to see as it often gets when you create the chaos. And then we just keep going around the outside. A blue damage upgrade. It feels like it's been a fortnight since I've had one of these. That was actually really big. That was a good 10% damage increase. So I would happily just take lots of those now. Hey look, another boss. Uh, he's dead. Augments your damage by 30%, reduces your attack speed by 20%. We're gonna have no attack speed, but we're gonna have ridiculous damage. And the projectiles are faster now, so they're gonna bounce around the screen quicker. That's just more efficient killing or something. It doesn't matter anymore. Damage. Lots of damage. You're here for the damage. So there's like all these people in front of me. Yeah, they just they explode because the arrows splinter. The initial ones hit super hard. The small splintered ones hit crazy hard also. I think maybe more damage. 289 base damage. Pretty sure there's a few good upgrades that would further uh, supplement our damage. But it's just a matter of actually finding them. I do like this bouncing off the edge of the screen thing. I also haven't upgraded dash at all, but I haven't really needed to, I guess, because our damage is so stupid that I don't really need to go anywhere. Dashing through enemies deals damage to them. That also reduces my dash cooldown, which is good because I only have one dash, so the quicker I can do that, the better. Bouncing bullets, save me. Yeah, so later on when the enemies are swarming at me, we're going to fire constant big bullets that are constantly going to be all over the screen. Uh, another upgrade. Well, there's the dashes we probably need, but I want attack speed instead. We're going from 0.67 to 0.76, so like a 10% increase. <laughs> Which is okay. We'll probably just stack damage. I wanted to see how much uh, attack speed that would actually give us. And it's not a ton. But attack speed isn't a problem. Because we're just firing so many arrows anyways. This is actually really good at AoE. Explosions would also be helpful. Considering we could do explosions and splinter arrows. But there's no need to get too greedy. Uh, okay, these are both really good. We can shoot behind us. We could also do 50 more damage to enemies. I want to shoot behind me. Just to be sure we're getting maximum arrows out. And I'm pretty sure now when you fire a big arrow big thing i don't know if that shot behind us i don't think it did that doesn't matter anyway with our slow attacks we, we just need mm, as many arrows as possible going out we're at sixty nine thousand dollars. Yeah, at this point we don't really have to move like even when the enemies are far away we attack slowly they still can't get close to us yet so let's just let some of the loot build on up around us here comes the mole so we're gonna get in his face and he's dead i'm gonna give three rerolls for upgrade choices at this point because they're gonna get slower and slower to get now so we want to make each and every one count 
So if we don't get something amazing right away, we'll re-roll it. But I'll take 100% more crit damage. 1450% crits. Uh, which is, yeah, probably going to be a lot of damage. Something hit me there, but you know what? I deserved it because I walked right into them. And we almost got another level up already just because there's so much treasure sitting around waiting for me. Okay, gain a lot more damage. Yes, 289 to 320. So that was a 50, 50 damage base boost, basically, uh, which is like 1500 crit damage. So we're definitely hitting for a lot. And there's a lot of splintery arrows going out. Okay, here comes another mole. I'm going to have fun killing him. <laughs> that was quick. For each current health, gain 10% damage. So we're going 320 to 512 damage. We're moving slower, but our damage has gone up even more. So we're still... <laughs> Probably one shot in just about everything. But now if we stack health, we also get damage. So that was a nice synergy. Uh, we also start to move slower, but I mean, I think things are kind of trouble getting to us anyway. Gain more damage, 550 damage, and real big bouncy bullets. I don't know if I'm going to bother to increase my uh, movement speed at any point. I don't know if it's going to be necessary. It's crazy how big a like AOE damage we do. Like we just fire into a mob and the splinter arrows destroy absolutely everything. Plus then the big bullets <laughs> start going too. This one just never fails. I always manage to build something stupid, even when I really have no plan in mind. Like today I was just thinking, we'll stack damage and crit damage. We did that and here's where we're at. This one's always a debate. Shoot four times faster but deal three times less damage. I don't remember how this exactly works. In theory that's more damage like DPS overall, but it's less damage per shot. You know what? I think I'm going to do it because that's just going to be more arrows and more splintering. We're pretty much a machine gun. Yes, yeah, so our damage dropped to 183 from like 550, but overall DPS is up and we'll look at it. I guess the fact that we're firing more big bullets too should also be factored in. I haven't even picked up any upgrades in a while. Might as well. Projectiles bounce one more time. Don't need that. Attack speed. Don't really need that. Gain more damage. We do need 183 to 196. We'll put it right back on. I guess I could keep in mind too that uh, adding health would also add a lot of damage. We're not one-shotting things, I don't think, anymore. Depends on what we're hitting them with. But we're just going to overpower them with bouncy arrows. There were so many power-ups lying around that I basically got another instant level up. Which is kind of insane because I'm level 41. We're going to take an extra 2 maximum health. That's going to put damage up to 220. So that was about a 10% damage increase along with extra health. I didn't even know there's a boss there. A chest just appeared. Uh, we're going to take fire projectiles around you upon taking damage. We're going to get 1 health for another 12 damage. So when we're close to things, we're going up to like 20 per second. 20 arrows per second times the 4 or 7 potentially the splinter next. 21 20 yeah we're firing like potentially 400 arrows a second so yeah you can really feel that in the way that everything just evaporates hi everyone we're gonna play the floor is lava but i'm just the lava this one also furthers the cause when your projectiles should be destroyed they keep going they get 50 percent damage instead but they keep going so the arrows and stuff are gonna last longer and my big bouncy bullets also i do need to be a little bit more careful about movement speed at this point uh or movement in general really because it does take me a second to start firing again to get the bouncers going. Look at all of these. Give me something better. Um, I think these are probably equivalent of each other. Uh, we'll take this to see. That's 20 damage. Yeah, that's a better choice. Just give me more damage. We didn't get extra health, but we don't need extra health. Not yet, at least. I want the damage back. I want to be back at like 500 per arrow. Because then all the giant crits we do. Yeah, I'm going to wait here because I'm roughly in the middle of my debris zone. So when you want to take a walk in a minute, we'll go level up a bunch. Okay, this is also one I very much like. Enemies around you are 30% faster, but take 50% more damage. So that basically doubles our damage output. Uh, I'm seeing some shots for... I don't know what. It's big. The enemies are faster. That's okay. They come in and spawn and get closer to me and die quicker. That also increases my attack speed. So that really only works to my advantage. Okay, we're going to pick up some of these upgrades. I do need to be a little bit slow. Like I need to step for a few steps and then stop and i won't wander out to the very edges right now we'll just collect what's on here because the further i get the more you know i'm going to spawn treasure on the outside of the map and i just really don't want to go get it over there okay i'm going to take an extra two health which is going to give us an extra 30 base damage uh so multiply that by 15 for its crit increase wow the enemies really stack up quickly now they move so quick but then they get blown apart quickly too the closer they are the better because all my fractury arrows are just pierce and destroy and it's ugly the game's starting to slow down a little bit i can feel it i think a cactus just hit me something rolled into me which must have been this idiot okay i'm going to pick always target deputies that way uh when they're on screen we increase our attack speed and damage by 50% maximum. So now whenever those idiots show up, if they don't die, they just make me stronger until they do die. And uh, I clearly need to be stronger. I'm very much struggling here with them. Um... I lost my train of thought. You guys are so weak now that I can't even focus to think. I'm just mindlessly killing you and it's getting boring. Uh, do we want more attack speed? No, our attack speed's already blazing fast. Let's do 100% more crit damage. No, let's do base damage. I'll place up to about 300, which it just multiplies bigger off the crits anyway. So math is fun. Look, here comes a mole. 
And oh, he almost got me with the TNT, but he's dead. Attract collectibles from further away. Usually I don't grab that one, but I can see it coming in handy now because it's just less further I have to walk for upgrades and heals. And normally, like, I wouldn't be able to get those ones out there because I don't want to wander that far away. Hmm. This is working out really nicely, actually. I never realized how big that magnet zone is. At this point, I mostly just want lots of mini bosses to spawn. That way, they can give me their treasure. Because honestly, I just don't have the patience for slowly leveling up at this point. I just want to kill everything and get more power ups until the game breaks. Well, since this is all here, we're going to take an extra damage. 311 damage. I'm going to sit right here for a minute and um, just see how this goes. Uh, ooh, okay, there's a boss who can actually got close enough to touch me. Uh, the onion aura is tempting, but nothing's going to get that close and it won't be that big. Attract all collectibles when you eliminate a deputy. I guess that last deputy didn't count because he was already dead. Things are definitely able to hit me. Like if I hold still like this, occasional things are hitting me. We're collecting hearts to kind of mitigate that. My only conclusion is that I need more damage or that upgrade that goes the longer I hold still, the faster I fire. Hopefully that's still a thing because I would love that right now. Uh, we're getting up to about 30 arrows per second when the idiots get close. So that's 30 times the uh, like multiple splintering arrows. That's like 500 per second. Oh, here comes an idiot now. Okay, please don't kill me. Uh-oh. I don't know what's happening. I can't see. I need some hearts. Is he dead? When you stay still, periodically fire projectiles around you. Y yes. The game does not want to work right now. Okay, we're going to reroll those because there's no yellows. A blue I might take. 330 base damage. Wait, it kind of looks something like this. I don't know if it's enough to fend off the idiots. It doesn't look like it is. Uh, I think their their health has gotten too high. I need more damage. That's the only thing I can take away from this. When I stand on the edge though, maybe I'll get a little bit of breathing room for a sec. I really do want that one where if I hold still, I'll do extra because I'd be up to like 60 attacks per second instead of 30 right now. I'm dying again. All right, well, let's go for a little walk then. We're just going to collect some hearts along the way. Those will prop me up because I don't have enough dash. And we'll start firing again here. And hopefully this works out for us. Oh, there's an idiot. So once he dies, we'll go uh, take his chest in. We'll get all the power-ups because of it. Your projectiles slow any enemy they touch by 70% for one second. So things enemies should be slowed down even more. Yeah, that's actually giving me a lot of breathing room because my projectiles are touching almost everything always. I just realized I also need the one where uh, I need the one where if they do a critical hit, they pierce because these things would just hit every enemy because now they're only sinking a few layers in, I think, and stopping. Only the big bullets hit the edge of the map and back. But it's actually really amazing what that one upgrade just did. Every enemy that gets hit is slow by 70% for one second and suddenly not many of them are actually hitting me anymore. Okay, I needed to go pick up some hearts. Uh, I never realized you can only pick those up so quickly. Didn't even see whatever that that thing was but it's dead creates an explosion four times the damage upon taking damage okay that's gonna give me some extra damage thanks to the health and explode things which is always just fun there's attack speed which could be interesting i kind of just want a lot more damage 343 to 366 we were at 550 damage earlier we cut it down by a third we're almost back to where we were which is Almost enough to keep the idiots at bay. We have a little boss coming in. He's getting melted. Uh, he's causing issues because they're focused on him, but he's dead. This is what I was looking for. When your projectiles deal crits, they pierce. They have a 75% chance of crits, so they're going to be piercing a lot more. So these arrows are each are going to be doing a lot more damage than they were just now. Okay, we've got another uh, mini boss on here. We're up to about a $350,000 bounty. Those extra penetrating crits are definitely making a real big difference for us. He's about to die, then we'll collect the power-ups anyway, so I can probably mostly just hold still. I guess we'll get 50% more damage and cooldown reduction when I have less than 50% health. By that point, I'm pretty much dead anyway. Okay, things are starting to hurt me again just a little bit, so I'm going to move to wherever there's a few more hearts, and then we can absorb them for a minute. Okay, I have another uh, mini boss on the screen. He's actually getting really tough. Like, we're not hurting him a ton. When he gets close, we'll do a little more, but it's going to take a second to actually kill him. But that's kind of funny. The closer he gets, the faster we fire. The longer he's here, the more damage we do. We're doing 500 damage and 30, almost 40 arrows per second. Oh, we should get more health too. We'll actually do more damage with more health. Your first piercing shot now targets the closest enemy. That's interesting. Does that make a difference at this point? I don't know if that makes a difference at this point. I really just want the one where the longer I hold still, the faster my attacks go. That would be the biggest bonus in the world to me. I don't think the homing thing matters at this point because I think our arrows are pretty much always hitting something. Even if they get to the edge of the map, they bounce back in. I just realized I still only have one dash. I've never made it this far with only one dash. Okay, here's the hook hands. They're not as strong as the other one. They're quicker, but they don't have as much HP, so it might actually get through them reasonably quick. And he's dead. Do area damage before you dash. That's as exciting as it gets. And then we're back to the leg fest. And it's like two seconds after we picked up that chest and killed the last mini boss, and another one shows up. So they're clearly taking a minute to kill these days. So in saying that, let's take a walk up here to all these hearts, because we're probably going to need these to survive. Look at all the arrows, though. This is so much fun. And the next mini boss is dead. I'm sure the next one's about to show up, but we're starting to slowly 
really get hurt. So I guess every time we dash, we'll take one damage, but permanently gain 10 damage. When we go like this, we'll get extra damage. We're up to 500 damage as it is. There might be a mini boss on screen, but we'll just dash. We'll take damage, but we'll do extra damage because it, oh, there's a mini boss up there. Uh, the bullets are actually stuck on the mini boss and slowing him down. So that's interesting. Yeah, I guess they, they're just maybe constantly splitting on him. They're stuck to him. I can't think of why they're doing that, but they're doing that. Therefore, he's very slow. So we can leave him up there for a sec. Actually, we need to get close to him because we won't attack anything but him. So we might as well focus our fire there to get rid of him. Hopefully without dying, which we're getting close to. Yeah, look at that. The, the mini bullets are sticking to enemies. Not really sure why, but that doesn't really matter. Oh, that must be that homing thing because they try and home after they pierce. But they don't go anywhere because they're big bullets, so they just stick forever. Okay, this dummy's almost dead. Let's try and finish him off. Can you just take all the arrows in your face, please? There we go. Come on, just a couple more. We're not really going to absorb anything because of this. I just want his treasure chest. Give me your treasure. I guess just slow all projectiles around you. Well, it was meant to end at some point. But we got up to firing over 600 arrows per second, so that was a ridiculous DPS.